We are live on the Wrestling Radio Awards for 2015. I am Adam Martin of WrestleView.com, one of the hosts of the Trey and Adam show, and the other host is on Skype, everybody. Say hello, Trey Dog. 2015. How many of these damn award shows have we done? I don't know, but I'm going to make a cute little graphic. It's going to yeah. show up right... Ooh, there it goes. So I had to get an official Wrestling Radio Awards graphic from Brian. For those that don't know or don't remember, we used to have a show called Wrestling News Live that I believe was the People's Choice winner back in like uh, 1885. Here you go. You're gonna you're gonna start pumping the chest about not even a minute into this segment. You're gonna be like, Well, well I'm just trying to think of how many years in a row we've done this, and I really can't even remember. You've hosted before. What, what year did you host this show? I've hosted a couple times. I think. Okay. Um, couldn't even tell you that. I just know that I've done it. <laughs> I um, notoriously boycotted the show for a couple of years because uh, I had, had some issues with Brian. But those issues have since been resolved. We've hugged. Uh, we've not kissed because uh, no smoochy smoochy. No smooching yet. Our relationship isn't uh, isn't quite there yet. But we've we've hugged yeah. and we've made up. And uh, he invited I'm, me. I'm glad you kept it no homo. I know we did a, a segment last week or last week. How dare me? Last year with uh, with Doug Lackey, where we talked about. Um, it was it was just about to be time for the WWE Network launching, and right. now uh, we've been tasked by Brian to talk about the network a year later, and a lot has happened. There's been some good things. There's been some bad things. The first thing we need to reference, and this is something that Brian passed along to me, and and, and note the dates on this graphic as we hit this up on the note screen here. The dates. Note, note the dates. Note the dates. They were supposed to launch this network in 2012. Bastards. Do you remember the, the promos that would air during Raw, getting everybody excited? Oh, yeah. And then it was like the dubstep, you know, promos, and then it just didn't happen. And they kept having conference calls during their, their quarterly earnings and avoiding the question where people would ask, okay, you guys announced it, it's not happening. They say, well, we're efforting, we're efforting, we're making contacts. There was a, a variety of things that were supposed to happen. But anyway, to get to the, the poll that Brian had, on AudioWrestling.com, it asked, "How much would you be willing to pay for the network monthly?" Fifty-three percent of people w were saying that they would pay nothing extra. So, um, uh, thirty thirty-two percent said I'd pay an extra dollar or two. Uh, Fifteen percent said I'd pay premium rates. Well, they came up with the nine ninety-nine. Nine nine nine. I I would say success thus far if they've hit a million as of as of the week we're taping this they announced 1 million active subscribers that could fluctuate that could go up it could go down but and and we should also keep in mind there's been a lot of changes to the network as well um so we'll get into those in a little bit but the other question let's, was let's 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 also preface this is coming on the heels of the you know pay-per-view world you know imploding with everybody bitching about the royal rumble and then the canceled wwe network hashtag canceled wwe network you know debacle then you had them coming out and firing back them being the wwe with oh yeah well we got a million people suck on that and then today i saw a report that, that said that they didn't know where they were um, and Which, I've been told yeah. since that that was a false report, yeah. but who knows? I mean, who really, it's like I used to say about wrestling itself when people would say things about, you know, behind the scenes stuff mm -hmm. that you don't see on TV. Yeah. I would always give an opinion because that's what you do in the, in, in the wrestling podcast world. You give an opinion, but then I would always tag it with. But we weren't really there. Yes. Who's who's really you know who's the fly on the wall? I mean, what we we really don't know 
one hundred percent. We've got different people saying one thing, WWE saying one thing, and now a third party saying another thing. And it's like you really don't know. All I can tell you is they've sold a lot of subscriptions and they've made some decent money. The other question, too, which I guess I should bounce back to before I come back to me, is do you think the network was going to be successful? And 40% of people said, yes, it'll be a big hit with large availability. 36% said it will do well, but with limited availability. And the two that kind of drew the same amount, 11.2 and 11.1% was it will fail either because of other reasons or due to limited availability. Now, when it launched, it was only in the U.S. They eventually expanded internationally uh, to countries all over the world. It just hit the U.K. and Ireland a year later. So that was probably the latest one. But um, I, I guess the, I guess the way we could frame this is and I, I sent out a tweet and we'll, we'll read a couple of responses that we've gotten so far. But. My question was, and this is kind of the question that, that we wanted to address here on the roundtable, was um, have you been happy with it? Have you been pleased with it? Has it been worth your $10 a month to have this service, a, a, a service that almost feels like they were a little bit behind on with Netflix already existing and Hulu Plus and a variety of other streaming services? Maybe not so much in, in the, the field of what they do, um, in, in the, the sports entertainment world or the wrestling world. Obviously, there's been sports entities that have kind of jumped on this, like Major League Baseball. Um, that was one of the things that we talked about in the early days of Major League Baseball streaming games if you're not in a market. So this was kind of, it, they teamed with the same company that produces that stuff. So um, I guess, what, what have you thought about it? It's a year later, 1 million subscribers, well, 10 bucks a month. Is it worth the, the price of admission? You know, back in the day, which was a Wednesday, we used to yes. say in the podcast world, you know, the, the, the pay-per-views were, this is pre-network. Now, you, you got to remember, this is before the WWE Network when pay-per-views were, you know, roughly 40 bucks or so. You know, some folks paid the 40 bucks religiously every month. There were a lot of folks with the access the internet provides watching bootleg streams and i know back in the day you used to not go oh, don't say anything about streaming don't say anything about illegal watching of the pay-per-views hey it happened yeah the wwe knew it happened you know they knew that it was out there so i, I kind of think that in a part of the way they took the approach of hey look you know if, if if we offer the network with the library and the other live content and then we put the pay-per-views on the network. We charge nine ninety nine. You know, those people that are watching illegally mm -hmm. might stop watching illegally, pay the nine ninety nine to get the pay-per-view that they were already getting, but the other stuff that comes with it. Sure. Um, that was, I'm sure, one avenue that was discussed. You know, I made the comment and I said this on our own podcast. You know, if you're still paying fifty bucks for a pay-per-view, you're a dumbass. Very stupid. They, you know, they I tell mean, you you're stupid. and if you bitched about the fact that they showed the same thing on Raw the next night, you got more issues than just pay per view money. <laughs> um, really, to me, and I said this again, if if all they did was provide replays of Raw and SmackDown and then the pay per view for nine ninety nine, mm -hmm. I'd buy it. Just just to know that every month I'm getting a quality, high-definition feed of the pay-per-view, rather it be on my laptop, my Xbox One, my Xbox 360 that I have in the bedroom that, since purchasing the Xbox One, became a Netflix machine. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think it's an amazing, amazing thing. And as they release more content, they come up with more innovative, original programming you know, I like the DVD documentaries that you used to buy for 20 bucks, and you got two discs. One was the documentary. One was all their wrestling matches that they talked about on the documentary. Sure. You can, you can watch all that on the network. I think that you have got to be, in my humble opinion, a very angry, trolly uh, person with a lot of other deeper issues in your personal life if you hate the network and hate paying nine ninety nine for something you used to pay forty bucks for, and you still get all the other bonus content, 
there's certainly people out there that are angry with it, and I've seen how. But I mean, how can you be angry with it? I don't know. What, I would... what 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 did what did the network have to do with Roman Reigns winning the damn Royal Rumble that causes you to want to cancel your network subscription? And that's just the because new, it was a pay per view. And that's the new reality we live in. When we, this this network first launched, you had to commit to six months. You couldn't just go month to month. So there wasn't an option where you sign up in one month and then let's say you just don't like the Royal Rumble. Uh, then you bail on it. Now that's a reality. Now you can go month to month. You can you can maybe dive in in January for the Rumble, check out in February and March, and come back in April for <laughs> WrestleMania. I mean, it's you very know, it's, it's 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 funny the way you you phrase that because the first thing that pops into my mind, and again, I did my best on our own podcast, the Trey and Adam Show. By the way, cheap plug. Um, I, cheap plug. I did my best on our own podcast to try to piss off our listener base by telling you people it's just a television program. Yeah. Stop jumping off buildings and bridges and canceling network subscriptions and being a jackass because you are an embarrassment to the wrestling community. You make the rest of us embarrassed to be wrestling fans when you show your ass. Um, it's 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 funny the way you phrased that that it's it's month to month now and you can bail and come back because here's what happens you get pissy at the Royal Rumble because Roman Reigns won the son of a bitch and so you go and you knee jerk cancel I'm canceling my subscription hashtag and you, cancel and you, WWE yeah Network. hashtag cancel WWE yeah. Network you cancel your subscription guess what you do the day before the next pay per view. You sign up again. You sign back up again. You get that credit or, card out in now, your will. Grant, I wouldn't fault you for skipping something like Fastlane, yeah. but you'll be back for the WrestleMania pay-per-view. Well, February, Especially when it's 70 bucks or so. February's free, so um, you're getting a free month again. That was apparently very successful in November when they did that for the Survivor yeah. Series, so they're doing it again. Thank you, Sting. It's become... Would it be accurate to describe this as the new buffet for wrestling that now you can jump in and jump out? Where you want to see the Rumble, you want to see WrestleMania, but you don't want to see Fastlane, you don't want to watch Extreme Rules. Maybe you want to see Money in the Bank because you want to see who gets the briefcase for a long time, but you know you're going to skip out on. Uh, it's kind of become a buffet. For yeah, wrestling. I mean you can, and you have the, the the right and the tools and the ability to do so. But let me give you a comparison, and maybe this is off the wall and, and a ridiculous comparison. But there are months where I pay for Netflix that I probably don't even watch it. Yeah. But because they take my money every month and it's such a cheap price, you know, I'd rather pay the eight ninety nine on Netflix or whatever it is than go through the, the cancellation re sign up process. Um, I just let it roll. And when I want to watch it, I watch it. When See, I don't, I don't. That's you right. Know, that's where I come that, from on this is the nine ninety nine price of and I, I know some people said that they were devaluing their pay-per-view industry and, and, and no, their own product no. by offering that. But I, I like that, first of all. Um, pay-per-view in itself, unless you're in boxing for those one or two big boxing shows a year or those you know maybe five or six really big UFC pay-per-views, it's not the most amazing industry at the moment in 2015 right now. It's not doing what it did 10 years ago. It just seems kind of like an old, outdated kind of format and obviously you you were talking about people streaming shows and people kind of taking advantage of of that industry and to me this this like like you had said this was their way of going like well you know if, if you were going to do that why not get an hd clear picture for the most part there might be a few blips here and there pay ten dollars and you're going to get all the shows and we're not going to upsell you on wrestlemania or the rumble or SummerSlam or survivor series it's going to yeah. be the same price like you said it's always going to be there there's always going to be a new pay-per-view there's going to be a live nxt special if you're into that there's going to be new documentaries there's going to be old episodes of television shows all the pay-per-views you know there's a lot there for ten dollars it's not insanely expensive to be asking of that i'm in a weird position because i love this in that i've been covering pay-per-views on wrestleview for well over 10 years now and to have a an option for ten dollars and i can watch it on a computer i can watch it on a smartphone a tablet i can stream it to a television with chromecast or if you have a console like an xbox one a playstation 4 a smart tv there's just a variety of ways where this content no matter where you're going to be 
you will have access. You don't have to have a satellite provider. You don't have to have a cable provider. As long as you have a steady internet connection, which is going to be the norm now going forward with the, the growth of smartphone technology, more people using mobile, uh, tablets, that whole industry growing, it seemed like a very good time to strike with this with all the content, all the library stuff they have. So I think it's been very, very good. And reading some of the, the Twitter feedback, Trey, that we got from people, I'll read a few of these as we wrap up here. Uh, at GoTribe028 said that he's pretty happy. Uh, pay-per-view value alone is worth it, plus an archive big enough I'll never be able to watch everything. Uh, at DBE451 said it's a great value. Original content they have is great. Just want more of it. So there's somebody that likes the content but would like some more things. Mm -hmm. uh, hashtag the underscore H-A-A-N says... I couldn't agree more with uh, the trade dog on this. $10 for the pay-per-views alone makes it worth it. The rest of the content is just gravy. Uh, at Dustin underscore Francis one said they do have a lot to improve on, though. Uh, new original content only uh, available on the network, but for the most part, he's happy with it. Loves watching the library, NXT, and the live specials. Mm -hmm. um, and then Mr. V from WrestleView said he's very happy with it. Loves the on-demand network. Chris Kelly sent us a tweet. He said he just got it because he's in the UK, but it's been pretty good so far for him. So I know that's just a couple people that sent us tweets, but that's pretty positive uh, across the board yeah. thus far. And you talked about pay-per-view being, you know, a dinosaur now, and 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 you you hit the nail right on the head. Here's the deal, man. Everything around visual entertainment is getting better. Internet's getting better. Fiber optic, Google, what well, Google Internet, you know, Google whatever fiber. it's called. Google Fiber's taking off. Across Google the Fiber, yeah. I mean, all the internet's getting better. My internet's not getting better where I live, but everybody <laughs> else's internet seems to be getting better and stronger and faster. Um, TV has now come to where you don't even have to have, uh, you know, a PC or an internet connect or not an internet connect, but a PC or something hooked to it. You can just click an option already embedded in the TV, you know, to watch on demand online programming, you know, as technology gets better, why wouldn't you adapt? You adapted the big, you adapted the world to, to, to basically create WrestleMania, from nothing you adapted from wrestlemania one you know you've gotten bigger you've gotten better why at this point wouldn't you get bigger and better and adapt with the times again as times change and get better you know the wwe price of 9.99 i've said it before you know there was a point with within the last year or two where you had ufc dipping into your pocket tna trying to dip into your pocket wwe dipping into your pocket i'm sure boxing still tries to dip into your pocket you know you had all these people trying to get your pay-per-view dollars and there's only so many dollars a person can spend a month unless you're loaded yeah and most wrestling fans aren't loaded so you've got to pick and choose now 9.99 psh, no big deal and for the people that were out there that were saying oh 60 dollars 50 dollars 40 dollars a pay-per-view i can't afford it i'll watch a stream and i'm pointing at myself you know if it wasn't a major pay-per-view i was watching it online just like everybody else however comma you know it was a shitty feed it wasn't high def it was in a smaller window than i would like you enlarge it to full screen. It got grainy and hiccuped, and you know, and due to your illegal. internet connection, it wasn't that great. Down nine ninety nine. Like I said, you're getting an HD feed plus all the extras. And it was illegal. <laughs> and so it was illegal. It was completely one hundred percent illegal. Uh, so there you have it. That that's our thoughts on the network. Um, want to thank Brian for letting us do this roundtable here on the 2015 Wrestling Radio Awards. Technically, you're setting a rectangle table, and so am I. So this roundtable shit. It's I don't not know really a roundtable. Yeah, it's not really a roundtable. But we uh, we've been doing video for close to a year now with the Train Adam Show. So I'm happy that Brian's bringing video to the award show, and I hope that continues on future editions. And uh, check us out if you liked our discussion. We host the Train Adam Show. Uh, you can get more details at TreyandAdamShow.com. Trey is at Trey on the radio on Twitter. I am at Adam Russellview. And uh, use the hashtag Trey Adam if you liked what you heard tonight, like the, the, the discussion. and uh, Use it if you didn't like what you heard. Yeah, even if you thought we stunk, then, then tell us because we'll, we'll probably uh, enjoy that just as much. So uh, check us out. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, everybody, for sending in some Twitter feedback. Congratulations and, uh, to all the award yes. nominees and winners tonight. Everybody, everybody that was nominated, everybody that won. Congratulations! And uh, here's I to, remember uh, when the Wrestling Radio Award was was just a little pile of clay. It was. It was very tiny. It was that long ago that 
I'm talking. I'm I, I'm a veteran of the '90s edition of this show. Yeah, that means you're here. An we old, are in 2000. Trey's an old guy. That's right. You're you're showing your age there with that one. So enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you for having us, and we will uh, see you very soon on the next edition of the Train Adam Show. Everybody, bye. See you.